What the hell is this? I have no idea. There are blades in here. Welcome to your next test. In 15 minutes, this room is going to fill with a toxic gas. The only way out is the door behind you. Opening it will take sacrifice, one of blood. In order to open the door, the beaker must be filled with 10 pints of blood. It can come from one or both of you, that does not matter. So now I ask, what are you willing to do in order to survive? Fuck. Fuck. What do we do? We just have to get started. At five pints each, it's possible that we can still survive. Fine. Fine. You ready? No, the fuck? I was joking. Wait, did you not get that? What do you mean you're joking? What do you mean? What do I mean? Like, where'd I lose you? I, I, okay, the, the fact that you are visibly confused genuinely terrifies me to my core. More on this fucking guy. I'm sorry, do you want to die over this? Yeah. I will take that L any day of the week. Well, I don't, and we need to work together. Mmm, Siamese twins need to work together. We have more of an optional thing. Okay, buddy, I have a family, and I have a reservation at Applebee's tomorrow. Yet, I'm much calmer. Why? Not quite the same. Yeah, I guess mine is cheaper, but otherwise the same. I'm glad you said it, not me. Okay, you know what? Let's just take a second. Let's see. W what are you looking for right now, like specifically? Seeing if maybe there's something else we can do. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sure there's tons of loopholes in here. But hey, you know what? Do you. Do you. Are you seriously not going to help me? Uh, no. And if you try to force me, I will scream. But I will cheer you on. Like, hey. Go you. So I'm just never going to see my family again. You know what? How about you write them a letter so they have something to remember you by? Maybe I will. <laughs> I was kidding, but okay, yeah, go for it. Can let them know you're the reason I'm not alive anymore. Totally. No, I'm sure this guy will handle everything for you. I'm sure he'll put it in an envelope, stamp it, and send it right off. Hey, do you have stamps? I don't have stamps. He doesn't have stamps. Okay, so you might have to take it up with a post office. Allow me to get some closure. You know what? How about instead we write a list of things we won't miss when we're dead? That'll make this less sad, and maybe we'll even be excited. Okay, first, let's start simple. Traffic, right? Traffic sucks, no more of that. I mean, it's like, are those 15 minutes up yet, right? No? Okay, well how about people who put a clapping emoji in between every single word on their social media post? No more of that. I mean, it's like, where is that gas already, right? Those people should put their hands on that thing. Oh, okay, how about no more girls who post selfies on social media with motivational captions for no reason? Oh, that's so annoying. Right? It's like, no, you just did a line of coke off your best friend's tits at a party after failing Algebra 2 as a senior, and you have the balls to quote Gandhi at me over the internet? Uh, no. You pick a genre. Went to school with a girl exactly like that. Yeah, and let me guess. Her name was... Lexi. Yes! Dude, how'd I know? It's always a Lexi. I swear, man, if you have XI in your name, you are a certified, certified freak. freak. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got cheated on by a girl named Dixie. Yeah, well, Dixie has XI, IX, and just straight up dicks in the name. Her fate was kind of sealed straight from the birth certificate. <laughs> Still hurts. Hey, chin up. Oh, okay. So how about guys who post shirtless mirror selfies while flipping off the camera for no reason? That was one time. I mean, like, it's genuinely fine if you have a small dick. It's average. But you don't have to scream the exact dimensions at me with your shirtless mirror selfie. Oh, my God. oh okay. Here's another one. Here's another one. When you're dead, you never have to hear another song made by a YouTuber or a TikToker. I mean, like, did Van Gogh have the right idea? Probably. God, I swear there's a new song by those people, like, every day, bro. Oh, I... Another one, when you're dead, no more Twitter. I mean, like, release the gas now, right? No, maybe a little, maybe a little. Oh, but they might have Twitter in hell. In fact, Twitter is hell. That's where I'm going. Fuck. You know what, we'll, we'll circle back, we'll circle back. Oh, dude, how about no more lines? Like, when you're at the grocery store and there's always that one person in front of you paying with a check. I mean, like, are you gonna sign that check with a feather too? God damn, go back to the Stone Age. Is time really not up yet? Oh, I stopped the timer. I was kind of enjoying this. Oh, and how many times has your wife asked you, like, do the dishes when you really didn't want to? I mean, can I just chill for a second? No more of that, huh? Where's that smile? Oh, 
I swear every girlfriend I've had tries to start fights over the dumbest shit. Oh, dude, I have so many stories I could tell you. Well, I'd love to hear them. You know what? I'll let you out. Oh, awesome. So we can leave? Oh, no, you still have to do the thing. What? But you know what? I'll drop it down to five pints, though. Are you actually serious right now? Well, yeah, there you go. You said you wanted to do the five pints. I said I would do it. Well, now you can. But not after all that. Just remember, man, you have a family that can bring you much more happiness at a higher cost than anything on the Applebee's menu. But either way, best of luck. I really got to get going. And uh, tell the family I said hi. Hey! Alright, so I got some good stories for you. But you know what? First, we should go get you some stamps. Oh, perfect. I just ran out of stamps. Well, now you'll have stamps. Oh, wait. I just gotta turn on the timer and the machine again. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here.